All right, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a 1G GMAW plate weld. We're just getting into MIG welding. We did a bunch of stick welding videos. We're going to start with 1G just because it's flat. It's usually the first one we start with. Um, like I said, it's half inch thick plate. Uh, people think that you leave a, a smaller gap for some reason on here. You actually want it a little bit bigger. So I just put greater than eighth of an inch. Just a little bit bigger than eighth of an inch is what we're going to do. And our face is going to be just around one sixteenth of an inch. The reason we put a bigger gap in this is because uh, we're going to run it over here in uh, a transfer of short circuit. So it's not real hot. So you need a bigger gap to let it bleed through and get that penetration to meet the D1.1 structural steel welding code. Um, our first pass here is going to be real quick with very little manipulation. Then we're going to put a big hot pass in there. Just weave, it, weave right into each one of the toes from the first weld. Uh, then we're going to put three and four over the hot pass. Then we're going to put three over the two that were over the hot pass. Uh, you can see 60 degree included angle. That's pretty much standard. Uh, some of the stuff that we're going to be using is uh, 035 diameter uh, MIG wire. So that's just how the size of it. It's uh, fairly commonly used, usually 035 or 045. Uh, its designation is ER70S-6. E stands for electro rod. 70 is 70,000 pounds per square inch minimal tinsel strength. S designation is the um, solid wire. If you were doing like a uh, flux core, you'd have a T. Dash six is the composition of the wire. Uh, the uh, welder we're going to be using is Lincoln Power MIG 255. And then when I go into um, 2G, I'll get a different welder so you can kind of see the differences. Probably like a Miller or an ESOP. All right, we're about to do our 1G using the MIG welding process. We're at 180 inches per minute for wire feed speed, 17.2 volts. This is our uh, bottle pressure versus our working pressure. Our working pressure is going to be around 30 cubic feet per hour. Now we're about to spark up our uh, GMAW 1G. This is our root pass. I did very little manipulation, just get it on the leading edge so that it bleeds through. The penetration on the back, pretty good. Our hot pass now, one over that.
That's our finished up hot pass. Now we're gonna put two beads over that. Two uh, passes over the hot pass. We're going to do three over that now to finish off our coverage.
Alright, we'll just put two on or put our final V on. There's our completed weld. It's pretty good except for one spot here where I had to start and stop because my cord got caught on a piece of steel. Through, all the way through. Convexity is just about perfect. Out of the 2G.